Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use opacity input in materials. So you can see I did use opacity and emissive color to have something like this. It's like a laser beam, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. And here for that, I'm going to create a new material and I want to call it M opacity. Okay, so double click on it. And in here, you can see we have an option for opacity. But right now, it is grayed out, okay? For enabling it, you should make this node to be translucent. At right now, it is a surface that is opaque. But you want to change this opaque to translucent. So with this opacity, we can change the opacity of our plane or whatever, okay? We can create a material that you can see through it, right? So for that, let's just create a constant by holding one left click and it, it create a constant for us if you don't know about any of this just watch my playlist of video about materials i did talk about base color metallic specular roughness emissive color normals and all of that just watch my videos about them okay so if i connect this constant to opacity it make it disappear okay the opacity is zero and if i change this to one it means the opacity is at its highest okay so it's like opaque right so if i change this to 0.5 no, we can see through this material and you can see it if we apply it in our scene and in our level in whatever surface that we have it will be translucent right and we can see through it and you can use texture on it as well okay so for example let's just go to paint and in here let's just add a box of black at, at its middle right and fill it up with black color right let's just save this on desktop or wherever you want i don't want to change its name it's just for this tutorial right so now that we have that let's just import it to our unreal by right clicking and in here import and in here i want to open that texture let's just add it in here and connect this rgb connect this pin to our opacity and you know that wherever there is white it means it is one and wherever there is black it is it means that it is zero so at the middle of this you can see through it but all the white area in our texture it will be opaque because it means it is one and you did see it with constant as well so that's how you can use texture on it okay so now let me show you how you can use other textures as well and if you go to the texture in starter content again let's just use this one okay let's bring it out and in here double click on this texture to open it and if you disable this uh, red and blue channel you can see in green channel there are some white and there are some black and where, wherever there is white it means that opacity is one and wherever there is black it means that the opacity is zero so let's just connect this green channel to our opacity if we connect it and now you can see that how it looks like right and we can see through wherever there is white information and wherever there is black information in here we can see through it clearly right no, I'm going to show you something else. Let me bring this here, right click and use multiply, right? So with multiply, we can make these lines in here tra translucent so we can see through them as well. So let's just connect this green channel to here and create a constant pull, or just use this constant, okay? And connect this to here and connect the output of that to the opacity. And now you should see that we can see through those white area as well. So you know that wherever there is black, it means zero. And zero multiplied by uh, whatever value, it, it is zero, right? But this white area is one. And one multiplied by 0.5, it means it is 0.5 opacity in this area, right? So you can see, we can see through all of this area. Now I'm gonna use emissive color to have some color on this okay so it will be translucent and the opacity is not one but it has some color it's like a laser beam right let's first add a three vector constant in here by holding three and click in here double click in here make it where whatever you want like green like this okay and i think it's okay right let's create a green beam and in here oh again I want to use this green channel in here that has some 0 and 1 information or black and white information and multiply it by a constant hold 1 and click in here it will create a constant let's bring them here 
and connect this to this multiply i want to multiply it by something like 1000 right because we want to create a emissive color and emissive for emissive color we should overdrive the values not just between zero and one it, it should be a lot right if you don't know about the emissive color i, I did create a video about the emissive color just watch that and you will learn a lot so no i want to use this information and multiply it by this color and use it on emissive color so let's just add another multiply and multiply it by these values in here and connect it to emissive color and now you can see it's too bright right so we can decrease this value to something like 100 okay and now you can see this is a like a laser beam it's translucent and the opacity of that is 0.5 and it has glowing color glowing color to it okay it's like a light a laser beam so that was it for opacity and how you can combine them with emissive color and in the next video i will talk about opacity mask opacity mask is more like opacity but you don't have the option to change the opacity of the oven okay it's just a opacity mask so thank you very much for watching please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot it motivates me to create more videos like this for beginners okay thank you very much for watching bye